They do twinkle. Isn't that amazing? They really do. I mean, you didn't know that? Not really. Come on, you, you know the song. Everybody knows the song. Which? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You don't, you don't know that? Sure. Where do you think they got it from? I mean, art imitates life, right? I don't know. There's a lot of bullshit in songs. The only stars I ever saw twinkle were in Disney cartoons or Christmas pageants. Till this summer. I guess it's pretty hard to twinkle through all that guck in the city. So you've had an educational summer then? You're laughing at me. No, <laughs> not really. That's okay. I'm not laughing. You aren't? No. I'm glad, but it would have been okay if you were. I mean, I like you. So. Well, that goes both ways, and I wasn't laughing at you. Well, gosh and shucks, Craig. <laughs> so quiet now. I've gotten so used to hearing kids' voices. Now they're gone, it sounds all sort of naked. You backed? I'm putting it off. I know, it's a drag, isn't it? No, it's not that. I think I just don't want to admit that it's over. Well, Lucy Barnell's mother finally showed up. About time. What's this about? One of my little monsters from Cabin 3. Her mom was supposed to pick her up and was late or something. The mother of the kid? Who cares? They're both gone and out of our hair. They're all gone, thank God. You really like kids, don't you? Let's just say, in Hansel and Gretel, my sympathies lie with the witch. Which is why, of course, you took a job in a summer camp. Hey, I heard there was a lake. Figured with any luck, I'd get to see one drown. What a pleasant thought. I'm a meanie. Didn't you know that? Sure. I am. I believe you. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Guess what I got for a tip? Most I got was a 20. That's not bad. It's okay, but nothing spectacular. Divide that down by the hours I spent making sure their kids didn't break an ankle or get eaten by a bear. It comes out to pretty cheap babysitting. What were you saying, Craig? This guy hands me an envelope and right away I can tell there's something other than money in it. And I open it up and it's maybe like an ounce of grass. Whose daddy was that? No, Dave Greenberg. Oh, that little freak. Clear case of like son, like father. Okay, let's see it. See what? Oh, isn't he so cute when he plays innocent? Your tip. <laughs> I mean, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. You know what, I'll bet. I'll bet it's some of that anemic homegrown stuff. I mean, it's only one way to find out. All right, break it out. Let's put it to the test. Don't have it with me. Well, where is it? Back in my cabin in my secret hiding place. Oh, I bet. You want to be careful. <laughs> About what? Remember what happened to Leonard? I mean, Leonard was a different case entirely. They caught him with dope. They caught him turning on the kids in his cabin. I mean, that was Leonard's fatal mistake. Yeah, but till they kicked him out, he was the most popular counselor in the camp. I think what tipped them off was the water pipe he, one of the ki his kids made in arts and crafts. I'm just saying, be careful. I appreciate your concern, really, but we're leaving tomorrow, so it's not like we're in any great danger. You gonna turn him in? Of course not. Why would you say a thing like that? Maybe you don't approve. It's not a matter of my approving or disapproving. <laughs> she said disapprovingly. It's not. Just because I don't do it, I'm not laying anything on anyone else. You, you've never smoked? Sure. I've smoked, but... Not anymore. Gotta protect those chromosomes. No, it's just I didn't enjoy it. You're kidding. Why am I kidding? You didn't enjoy it at all. What is this new taboo? You don't admit you don't enjoy 
dope? You say it like it's something I should be ashamed of. I mean, no, no. If you enjoy it, terrific. I mean, well, I do. Terrific. It's not often you find something you really enjoy, only we all enjoy different things. If we didn't, what would be the point of being different people? But I know why you don't like dope. I just don't. It scares you. No. You feel those inhibitions slipping away and you're afraid of what you might do, what wild and disgraceful things you might do, like dance or tell a dirty joke or take your clothes off or something. I can do all those things without smoking. Yeah, but do you? Is that what you think of me? That I'm some virginal square hard ass? What I think is you are a lady who hasn't investigated her full potential for having a good time. Okay. Yeah, right. There. You have me nailed into one filthy sentence. I'm just telling you what I see. Thank you very much. Okay, take it the wrong way if you want to. Don't you worry about what kind of time I'm having. Okay. I'm having a fine time. If you say so. So what about it? What? You want to sample a little of my tip? I thought you said you didn't have it with you. I'm not with me, but back in my cabin. Mm, back at your cabin, huh? Yes. In your secret hiding place? Yes. Back in your cabin? Right. Well, it is a tempting offer, but... No, I don't think so. No, uh huh? Mind you, I'm flattered. I mean, nothing to be flattered. Just had a little thought I might share with an appreciative colleague. I see. I mean, that's what's all on my mind, honest. <laughs> You're getting cute again. <laughs> well, then maybe back in the city, huh? You are almost irresistible when you're cute. So? I said almost. You're a cruel woman, Fiona. I told you I was. You thought I was lying, didn't you? Well, I, I guess I'll just have to smoke it myself. Hey, you could always look up Leonard. I'm sure he'd be happy to help you out. Cruel. Good night. Night. See how nuts she is about me? No accounting for taste. Meaning me or her? Meaning nothing in particular, really. I mean, no, what, what do you think? You think I'm crazy? I don't know what to think. Come on, Lil, we're friends. You can call me an asshole if you think I am one. I just don't think there's much potential there. For all her talk about relaxing inhibitions and stuff, I don't think she... What? No, I feel stupid talking about her like this. Oh, but no, what were you going to say? Just, I don't think there's much action behind the talk. Well, it isn't all talk. No? Nah. <laughs> How do you know? Well, it happens that I do know. You and she? Once. Oh. A couple weeks ago. How about that? I mean, you don't mind me talking about this, do you? Why should I mind? I, it's just... You're pretty stuck on her, huh? I mean, yeah, and I, I sort of got the impression that night that it was mutual or I don't know, maybe I was reading something into it and seeing what I wanted to see. That can happen. Oh, well, I guess I'll get over it. I mean, I was still in the infatuation stage and it really hadn't taken root. Not enough time. Probably. Though this switch on her part, I guess it's got me a little off balance. I mean, if she wasn't interested, then what was that night all about? Maybe she just wanted a good piece of ass. <laughs> Anything's possible. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How I wonder where you're at. Where'd you hear that at? I think it's out of Lewis Carroll. That or Pogo. I'm not sure. Up above the world so high. Like a tea tray in the sky.
Lewis Carroll. Hey. What? What do you say in five years, if you aren't married and I'm not married, we get together and I don't know, talk about it. What? I mean, I'm not saying do it necessarily, but I don't know, talk about it. And who knows, who knows, maybe do it. I mean, we could both probably do a lot worse and we probably will. So what do you say, five years? You can be very cruel, you know that? What did I say? Never mind. Where are you going? I really have to pack. No, wait, hold hold on. What is it, please? You stupid asshole. So, I'm sorry. You stupid, but... stupid asshole. 